this is Simon from bowlandguitar.co.uk and this is part 3 of my tutorial on how to play Francisco Tadiga's Recuerdas de la Alhambra. Um, now we finished on the previous video at uh, bar 14 um, so we'll start on the last beat of that bar um, where we have the 3rd finger on the 10th fret 3rd string and the little finger on the 10th fret 2nd string with the 1st finger on the 7th fret 4th string and um, so that's the fingering for the last beat of bar 14 where we left it on the last video and um, which gives us the third string and the tremolo on the second string now as we're moving into our new bar bar 15 notice that the third finger actually drops down a fret to the ninth fret e so you don't need to take your finger off you just drop that down so that's like a, a guide finger we then place the second finger on the eighth fret of the second string, giving us G. And um, our first bass note is actually the fourth string open. So we're playing the fourth string, tremolo on the second string. We're now playing the third string with the thumb. And then we have a, um, the little ornament coming into it. So we're playing G. Hammering the finger onto the 10th fret A and then pulling the finger off. So that is. So we've got. Um, on the second beat of bar 15, the second and the third fingers move down two frets to this sixth fret um, second string, which gives us F, and the uh, third finger on the third string seventh fret, giving us. Our D. Um, so we're now playing the third string, second string tremolo, and then what we need to do here is bring the little finger over onto that fourth string, seventh fret A, to give us our bass note. So that is then fourth string, tremolo on the second string. We play the third string again, which the third finger is already on. Then back to the fourth string. So bar 15 is like this. Drop back. Now don't remove those fingers, leave them in place. And all we need to do is put the first finger on the fifth fret um, of the fifth string, giving us D. So we've now actually um, got a D minor chord. Um, so bar 16 now um, is just those fingers in place, we don't need to move them. So we're playing the 5th string and then the 2nd string at tremolo, 4th string, 3rd string, 4th string, 3rd string, 4th string. Um, so bar 15 and bar 16 is this. Drop back, first finger on, and into bar 17, now we're coming down to the first position, and we need to place the second finger on the third string, second fret A, and then we're playing, on the first beat we're playing the open fourth string, and then the open first string. You play the third string with the thumb. You play the second string back to the third string. So the first two beats of bar 17 are. On the third beat, what we need to do is drop the little finger on to the uh, third string fourth fret B, and we put the third finger on the D at the third fret second string. Um, which now gives us the third string followed by the second string melody. Notice, keep the second finger in place because we're now immediately going back to that A. So that would now be. So bar 17 is. Into bar 18, 
we now have a full bar with the first finger at the first fret, which will give us the bass note of F. The E flat is on the fourth string. We've already got the second finger on the third string. And our melody note will be taken on the second string. So we're playing the sixth string, melody note, second string, fourth string, third string, fourth string. Now on the third beat of bar 18, putting the little finger back onto the D at the third fret, second string, and we play the third string bass note with a thumb, tremolo on the second string, then back to the E flat. So bar 18 is. Into bar 19, um, we place the first finger on the C on the first fret of the second string and we place the second finger on the second fret of the fourth string E. So we play, first of all, we play in the sixth string bass, second string melody note, fourth string bass note. And again, we have uh, this ornament where we hammer that finger down. So we play in the fourth string, second string, hammer that little finger on and then pull it off. And we, we, you have to be quite quick with the finger on this one. Because we need to get that first finger onto the third string first fret to give us G sharp, which is the next bass note. So that's the third string, second string open. Fourth string, second string open. Third, fourth string. So bar 19 is... into bar 20 we don't need to move the fingers we just continue now with the sixth string second string melody fourth string third string fourth string third string fourth string so bar 19 and 20 is keep your fingers down So if we take it now from bar 15, we're starting um, up on the, our G and E on the second and third strings and um, with the D open. Then drop that down, down, little finger over, keep those fingers down and then we place the first finger on the fifth string for, um, Fifth fret. Bring the second finger down to the second fret on the third string. With the, the open fourth string, the open fifth string. Drop the third finger and little finger down. Take the little finger off. Bar across the first fret. finger down by 19 bring that finger over keep those fingers down so I'll just go through that again so we're starting at the 8th and ninth fret oh, ornament drop down First finger down. Down to the first position, bar 17. Third, uh, third finger, little finger down. Little finger off. Bar at the 18th, uh, bar at the first fret. Bar 18 at the first fret. Bar 19. Bar 20 is just to repeat. And that brings us to the end of the first section um, in the key of A minor. Now normally what you do then, you would go, go back to the beginning and repeat the whole first section. 
and then we'd start moving into bar 21 which is where we get a key change into the key of A major um, but that's where I'll leave the left hand on this tutorial and now let's move over to the right hand so bar 15 then um, we're playing the fourth string with a thumb second string with a tremolo right hand tremolo third string with a thumb our left hand's dropping back down so again we're now playing the third string again the thumb plays the fourth string third string fourth string so we've got bar 16 um, it's just to end the continuation so we're playing fourth st uh, fifth string with the thumb fourth string third fourth three four um, so and then into bar 17 we're playing the fourth string open again first string um, tremolo third string with the thumb the second string also with the thumb in order to keep the tremolo going on the first string and um, so that is then uh, third string third string again with the thumb so bar 17 is bar 18 is we're playing the sixth string with the thumb fourth string third string with the thumb fourth string third string fourth string with the tremolo keeping going on that second string bar 19 again open sixth string with the thumb tremolo still going on that second string fourth string the ornament and again we have that little stutter that we have with the right hand where we're playing a m and i fingers for the tremolo then on the second beat we're only playing third finger and then middle finger while the left hand puts the uh, ornament in and then third string with the thumb fourth string third string fourth string and bar 20 six string four three four three four all with the thumb and um, so that is now from bar 15 bar 16 bar 17 and bar 20 and that's where I will now leave uh, this tutorial um, for today and I hope this tutorial helps you to play this uh, piece by Tariga music and tabs are available free from my website www.boltonguitar.co.uk and I hope to see you on the next tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.